Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So I had a blast this weekend. I ranked up and leveled up so many champions, it was beautiful. But if you think you can guess who my first rank up was, leave it in the comments below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Big Blue, this one's for you. That's right, taking up Mo Man. And as you can see, I have a rank two to three rank up gem. Boom, done. So Mo Man is the first of many rank ups that I did this weekend. Now, I have seen a lot of videos talking about Mo Man. I haven't really learned the best way to play him, you know, like the best rotation or uh, anything like that, but I'm going to start because I took him to rank three, I'm committed, okay? And Mo Man is worth it. Just, just the little that I saw, he is very much worth it. So uh, when I got him, Big Blue gave me a challenge. Big Blue said, if I ranked up Mole Man that he would rank up a certain champion. So we'll see how that goes. I can't remember if he already ranked up uh, the champion or not. However, uh, I took up Mole Man to rank three. And so far, <laughs> I don't have any regrets. You know, no buyer's remorse or, or uh, rank up remorse or anything like that. Uh, very excited to uh, start using him in questing and, and all of that. I am currently working on 6.4.6. .6. I'm going to be doing that later on today. And if I can get that done, I will be able to open up a Nexus Crystal, another rank up, an Awakening Gem, and I'll have two... Uh, rank up six star gems that I can use for the next level up. So I'm excited about that as well. All right. So I'm just giving you a, a quick look at Mole Man. This is not an in depth study on Mole Man or anything like that. Uh, so uh, don't expect uh, me to go into his abilities or anything because I need to go into his abilities and learn more about him. And I might make a video uh, later. There's a lot of videos out there, but you know, I can hopefully put my little uh, spin on it as well. All right, so that's it for this portion. And we're going to go to the gameplay portion now. And I have a surprise for you. We're not going into Realm of Legends. Surprise, we're not in Realm of Legends. We're going to go into the current monthly event quest at the Cavalier difficulty. And chapter one, quest two, the Venom Pool chapter. That is where we're going to go. It's the skill chapter, okay? And Mo Man is the only one on the team. He does not rely on synergies. Uh, I could have added some synergies to make him really beastly, but let's see how he does on his own. All right, so uh, I'm going to take this four-star chest here, and first fight is going to be Mr. Negative. I don't fight Mr. Negative very well. All right, uh, let's take a look at the active buffs we're going to be dealing with, okay? So, Punishment Glutton. All right, skill attackers gain a permanent passive fury, increasing attack rating by 35% each time a damaging debuff is purified or expires on the opponent. And it can go up to 10. So, Mole Man can place a bleed on the opponent, okay? So every time one of those bleeds expires or is, uh, you know, shrugged off or purified or whatever, then he's going to gain a fury, okay? And it's a permanent passive one, so it cannot be nullified or anything like that. Rapid metabolism actually works in our favor. The defender shrugs off debuffs 40% sooner. So that means that even though I'm running deep wounds, he's going to shrug them off 40% sooner than he normally would, so I'll be gaining Furies even faster. 
than I normally would. So let's see how that works. Turtling, of course, you all know about turtling. You know, just be aggressive. Doesn't really matter all that much. Now, again, I told you I don't know how to uh, use Mo Man to his best. Um, I have a plan. You know, I'm going to parry, heavy, parry, heavy, parry, heavy, and then just go on in. And since I do not know how to evade his um, specials, I'm going to try my best to uh, just block. If he'll throw it. Okay, there we go. All right, I wasn't... I um, uh, didn't have reverse controls on me. But here we go with the special two. Look at that damage. And he's done. Just like that. Very, very nice, Mr. Mole Man. Or as Legacy calls him, Mole God. Now, this guy likes to evade. And he has a weird evade. He has two different evades. When you hit him with a heavy... That's the evade, uh, his AI gets shut down, and that evade is what he does with specials. Now, I'm going to keep under 10 monster mass because he likes to evade. Okay, here we go. Under 10 monster mass, they can't evade. All right, come on. Okay, now I'm gonna try something. He has the AI up, but I'm gonna hit him with this special. There we go. Evade failed. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I wanted to see. So when he's under 10 monster mass, they can't evade. And his evade, he has a high chance to evade when the AI is active. And I wanted to test that out because firing a special without shutting his AI down is usually asking for it. Because he's going to evade. But, yeah. So, you see a little bit of utility there. Loving it. Okay, let's get him with a heavy. And for her, we don't worry about being under uh, 10. So, we're just going all in. And we'll, when she finishes what she's doing, let's let her hit us. And we'll instantly punish like that. Hit her with a special one. Puts a shock and does some good damage. Ooh, she looked like she mad. Ooh, intercept. Look at these crits. Nasty. Mo Man tearing it up. And this is by himself, unduped, and without any synergies. All right, so we come to a fork in the road. We're not going to the left because I run suicides. And going to the left is just asking to lose a lot of health against Void. I, I probably still beat him, probably, but I don't want to deal with it. All right, so this fight should be straightforward here. Nice little intercept. Put a bleed, hit a little with a heavy attack, build up my monster mass a little bit. Like I said, I don't even know if that's the best way to play it. And I'm going to hit her with a special two this time. Okay, let's get her to a special two because she obviously wants to throw that special two. All right, here we go. We only have two Furies, though. Now we got three. Mm, didn't do a lot of crits there either. And that's because we weren't in Frenzy. See, I, I, I got to learn. Now that we're in Frenzy, we're doing some big boy damage. So that special two was kind of a waste because I wasn't in frenzy. Got to learn it. Got to learn it. Got to get used to managing his monster mass and all that good stuff. But he still did a good job. All right. But I'll get used to it. Now we've got the Overseer. Hmm. Not used to fighting him. And uh, just look in, it's the same nodes uh, that we're having to deal with out the path. But I like to peek in there anyway in case something changed. Okay, let's get him with a heavy. 
Okay. Boom. Hit him with a lot of uh, bleeds. I'm in my um, frenzy. All right. Frenzy gone. But I got 10 Furies from all of that. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't letting me evade, but cool. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. I don't, uh, my controls are acting crazy. I was waiting because I knew the auto block would fail because I had lower than 10 uh, monster mass, but I don't know what that was just now. I know the game is, is messed up right now, but wow. It was, it was like I, I just lost control of my uh of my guy but you know whatever he's down maybe they didn't like it that i was doing so well on the path they decided to punish me all right so now we've got abomination and he likes to poison and mo man is not poison immune but he can shrug off some poisons so i'm going to See that poison? Got purified. Hit him with a few things here. Okay. Come on. No, son. Okay, come on. See if he'll fire it off. There we go. There we go. Frenzy! Hit him with the special two. This is what we should have done before. Look at that damage. That was not a wasted special two. But like I said, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Now, I cannot promise anything about this. I'm not going to heal him up. I'm not going to do anything. Let's just see how he does. Okay. We'll just We'll just take a look. See how he does. This guy has foot loose and um, a power focus or something like that. So he gains a lot more power under two bars of power. Okay, so here we go. Try and bait that out there. So as you can see, he's unstoppable. And he has a chance to evade, but that doesn't matter to us. Not when we're at that... Uh, Monster mass. All right. Hit him with this. It's a big boy damage, though. All right. And we can't really do much anything with him being all unstoppable. So we just kind of wait it out. Okay. There we go. Oh, I hate when he does this. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, can we get him? Can't get my heavies in, so I can't really build up the monster mass, but... Mm, let's try to nope I was gonna wait out his um uh his heavy attack but it wasn't letting me do that oh boy come on there we go got him down ugly ugly fight but we got him down all right so uh a little bit different you know, instead of beating up on Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends, I wanted to take you guys and show him in the wild, you know? So, wasn't a bad fight. Wasn't a bad fight at all, even in my amateur hands. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed this Mo Man uh, gameplay. Leave a comment. You know, of course, I know a lot of you will give me suggestions on what to do. They're all welcome. So, bring them on. Let me know and uh, I'll learn and I might even make a video and uh, share that knowledge that I've gained with others. So take care. 
And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.